here. And of course, as we all know, Halloween is creeping around the corner. And you know what that means? Creepy stuff everywhere. But for this video, I'm not going to count up the top 10 Pokemon creepypastas. And that's actually a list for another time. Today, we're going to, we're going to be talking about the top 10 creepy things in Pokemon. Now, I have a few rules for this video. Creepypastas will not be included. And yes, Lemon Town will be included, but that's only because it isn't a creepypasta at all. It's just involved with creepypastas. And of course, I'm going to include all the moments in Pokemon, including the anime, manga, and video games. So, are you guys ready? Alright! Grab a bowl of Halloween candy, a blanket to hide under, your favorite Pokemon plus you to snuggle with, and let's get right into this video. Slenderman, Slenderman, dressed in darkest suit and tie, Slenderman, Slenderman. Lavender Town. Lavender Town was the scariest. Lavender Town was scary in earlier generations of gaming, but now it seems more like kid stuff with pastas and urban legend. And yes, we all know that the urban legend of Lavender Town's suicide was actually based off of a report on the Pokemon episode, Epic Soldier, Soldier Porygon. But I won't get into that just yet. That's probably something to talk about in another video for another day. Anyway, moving on. Zombie Pokemon. The Pokemon Adventures manga contains some pretty dark stuff, mostly death and zombies. Pokemon zombies to be exact. When our main protagonist seizes their Charmeleon, they encounter an Arbuck and a Psyduck. In acid, Arbuck gets cut in half and Psyduck turns into a zombie and a horde of zombie and a horde of Poke zombies appear. You know what I'm gonna do if I encounter these things. No, 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 n not the Walking Dead reference. Don't get me wrong, the Walking Dead is actually kind of good, but it's not my cup of tea. You think that hurts me? There we go, that's the reference I'm looking for, Lollipop Chainsaw. Sabrina. If you guys ever watched the original Pokemon anime, you know why I put her on this list. She used her psychic powers to clone herself as a little girl and turn her mom into a doll, torture Ash and his friends, and when Haunter encounters her and makes her her clone fades away into non-existence. Creepy, but not emotionally scarring. The Old Chateau. In Devon Pearl Platinum, the Old Chateau is said to be an old home to the Interna City gym leader, G Gardenia, and was said to have poisoned her family. And now an old man and a little girl haunt the place. You know who I'm calling. Get out of my friend, ghost! Ow, that's gonna leave a mark! The power of pain compels you! Pokemon are food. There's been a myth surrounding the Pokemon fandom that if Pokemon are eaten and the bones are picked clean and put into the wild, Pokemon comes back to life. I actually find this theory to be pretty cool. I wonder if that would actually work with animals. Probably not. I mean, being reincarnated would actually be pretty cool. But, wait a minute. Okay, I'm starting to develop a theory on a reincarnation of Lucario coming back to life, along with Sir Aaron. Guys, make it stop. But let's move on before I develop more theories. Sir Dormund, Sir Dormund, Sir Dormund. 
Hypno's Lullaby. I know, I know, I said no creepypastas, but I had to include it on the list. The song is actually based off of the scene in the buried forest in the Gen 1 games, but this one as far as kidnapping is Arce and Arceus knows what. And if you don't believe me, listen to the song. Come little children, come with me. Safe and happy you will be. Away from your homes now, let us run. With Hypno, you'll have so much fun. Now this one is not necessarily creepy to me, but it is to most, if not all, Pokemon fans. It doesn't really do anything but glitch out the game. Not the scariest thing in the world, but fairly creepy. The Ruins of Alf. If you enter the ruins and turn on the radio to channel 13.5, there's a mix of weird noises and a distorted ho oh cry and a zoo flute melodies. Now, I didn't really test this theory out, but it does seem pretty creepy to me. But still, not the scariest thing in the world. But, you know. Lumios Ghost Girl. In X and Y, when you enter one of the office buildings in Lumios and enter the room via elevator, out of the blue, a random girl appears and says, You aren't the one. And vanishes. Someone write a creepypasta about this, please! Pokédex entries. I know, I know, cliche, 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 and whatnot. But there's a reason why the Pokédex is number one on the list. Here's a few examples. Lampid. The spirit it absorbs fuel its baleful fire. It hangs around hospitals waiting for people to pass on. So it carries its spirits of dead people? Well, uh, I guess this is the Grim Reaper Pokemon. Uh, sorry, Duskull, you're not the Grim Reaper Pokemon. Ban it. A doll that becomes a Pokemon over its grudge from being junked. It seeks the child it disowned. So what happens when it finds a child that disowned it? Does it turn it into a doll? Does it... Um... I don't want to think about this. But seriously, this is why you don't throw away your toys, kids. Either be like me. Pass it on to your uh, next child. Or donate it. Or just keep it. Because that's what I do. Hunter. Hunter is a dangerous Pokemon. If one beckons you while floating in darkness, you must never approach it. This Pokemon will try to lick you with its tongue and steal your life away. Jeez. No wonder Charizard hates Ash. Well, we found out why Charizard doesn't obey Ash all the time, guys. Cubone. It wears the skull of its dead mother on its head. When it becomes loathsome, it starts to cry loudly. Now this one isn't much so creepy, as much as it, as it is sad and depressing. See, this is why you have to adopt a coupon, everybody. Adopt a coupon today, and it will be happy. Cacturn. If the traveler is going through a desert in the thick of night, Cacturn will follow. Cacturn will follow in it in a ragtag group. The Pokemon are biding their time, waiting for the traveler to tire and become incapable of moving. So what happens when it? So what happens when the traveler becomes tired and can't move anymore? And this is why Cacturn is a stalker Pokemon, guys. This is why Cacturn is a stalker Pokemon. Gorgeist. Singing in the eerie voices, they wander towns. They wander town streets on the night of, of a full. They wander town streets on the night of a full moon. 
anyone who hears her song is cursed. Um, what? Oh, if you think that's bad, here's another one. It wraps its prey in its hair-like arms. It sings joyfully as it absorbs the suffering of its prey. Um, so, if it sings, you're cursed. If it loves watching its prey suffer, it sings and... Um, okay. Phantom. According to old tales, these Pokemon are stumps possessed by the spirits of children who died while lost in the forest. You see, this is why you can't leave your kids alone in the forest and get lost. You have to keep track of your kids' parents. You have to keep track of your children. But hey, I would happily adopt a, tum a Phantom. I would happily adopt one, just as easily as I would adopt a Cubone. Besides, I think we'd be pretty good friends. And finally... One last example, Yaw Mask. Each of them carries a mask that used to be its face when it was human. Sometimes they look at it and cry. I officially feel bad for Yaw Mask, everybody. I officially feel bad for Yaw Mask. Some are weird. The ones that are the creepiest make, Pokemon, make the Pokemon world more scary and dangerous. And I kind of like it. You gotta have a little bit of danger in your life. Well, I mean a little bit, but not like a whole lot. Which is, which is the creepiest moment of Pokemon that you find the creepiest, scariest, or probably the weirdest? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you puppy dogs in the next one. Don't forget to stay awesome, stay strong, and stay beautiful everybody. Oh, and be safe this Halloween, okay? I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Slender man, slender man, dressed in darkest suit and tie.